Chapter at tayammum This is the second type of tahara. It is a substitute for water when using water to wash some or all of the limbs that are washed during tahara becomes impossible. One, either due to unavailability of water. Two, or out of fear that it may cause harm if used. Thus, turab, dirt and sand, etc. is used in a place of water in the following manner. One, one intends to remove his state of hadith, ritual impurity. Then one says, Bismillah, in the name of Allah. Three, then one strikes the turab once with his hands. Four, finally with his hands, one wipes his entire face and hands. There is no problem if one strikes the turab twice. Note, the correct view is that it is not permissible to initially hit the turab twice because this was not authentically reported from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Furthermore, the default principle is that an act of worship must be done according to how it has been described without any addition or subtractions. And Allah knows best. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in the meaning of which, if you do not find any water, then perform tayammum with clean earth and rub your faces and hands with it. Allah does not want to place you in difficulty, but He wants to purify you and complete His favor upon you so that you may be thankful. It was reported on the authority of Jabir that the Prophet ﷺ said in the meaning of which, I have been given five things that were not given to anyone before me. I have been aided to victory by flooding terror into my enemy's heart up to a month's journey. The entire earth has been made a place of prayer and purifying. So when the Salah reaches any one of you, he should offer it. The spoils of war have been made permissible for me and it wasn't permissible for anyone before me. I will be given the right of intercession. Every prophet was sent to their specific people, but I was sent to all people agreed upon. Whoever is upon al-hadith al-azgar, state of minor ritual impurity, it is permissible for him to do the following. Perform salah, make tawaf circulating around the Kaaba, and touch the mushaf. Along with these, whoever is upon hadith al-akbar, state of major ritual impurity, cannot do the following. Recite anything from the Quran, staying in the masjid without wudu, Along with all the above women who are experienced menstruation, hayd, or postnatal bleeding, nifas, are not permitted to do the following. Observe siyam, have sexual relations, get divorced. However, it is permissible for her to read the Quran. Additionally, she does not need to perform tawaf al-wada' if she completes the rituals of hajj and umrah, and then starts menstruation before she leaves for her homeland and continues menstruating until she leaves. In this case, she leaves without tawaf al-wada' because of the hadith of Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu where he said, people were ordered to perform tawaf around the Kaaba, tawaf al-wada' as the last thing before leaving Mecca except the menstruating women who were excused, agreed upon.